Um, I'm going to pull up the scoreboard here. We're going to pick every game. We're going to start with the K-State game, of course, because it's our first game on Saturday. K-State is playing at number four, Houston. They don't have a line out yet. I would assume it'd probably be like Houston minus 12 and a half or 13 and a half. They're a top five team. They've only lost twice, but both times are in the Big 12. Kenny, I'm going to you first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what's your score prediction for k-state at houston on saturday yeah um remind you we are filming this on tuesday uh january 23rd yeah so uh this is gonna be um probably no surprise to anybody in the country um k-state is definitely a massive underdog against this team houston is one of the best teams in the nation if not the best team in the nation um, but it, in terms of this conference, anybody can beat anybody. So, uh, however, I'm not going to predict <laughs> that K state is going to win this game. This is the first time you're picking K state to lose this, this season. First, yeah. The first time I'm picking K state to lose because I mean, look, you just can't deny the talent that is on Houston's. I mean, it's just. It's too much, man. Um, however, like I said, I will be pl- I will be extremely happy if K State wins this game. Um, but I, I believe that Houston's going to walk run away with this game big time. We're playing it at Houston, so we don't even get home court advantage there. Uh, you know, it's it's going to be rough. Um, I'm thinking Houston's probably going to hit about 88, and. Uh, K-State will probably hit around the 70 mark. 88, 18-point loss. Like 88, uh, 88. It almost feels like that says more about Houston than it does K-State, right? Like you, you said how good they were. Yeah, it's not a it's not a, uh, a diss on K-State. It's just Houston is so – they're on a whole nother level, man. I think, I think their loss was a fluke. What, what's, a fluke. Your hot, what's your hot take? And then I'll give my score prediction a hot take. Against this team? Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hot take. Uh, I'll say. Uh, I'll, I'll say. I'll say a creative hot take. How about this? How about. Um, uh, none of K State. Now nah, that's not really that big of a hot take. Um, uh, I don't okay, even know. I'll, 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 I'll come back to you. How about that? Yeah, come back to me on that one. Okay, all right. So here I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to pick K-State to win this game. And here's why. Um, Houston has a guard on their team that transferred from Baylor. His name is LJ Cryer. And guess what? Jerome Tang used to uh, coach him at Baylor, right? He knows him very well. He recruited him. Um, he played at Baylor last year. K-State went 2-0 and against Baylor. Um, I do think Houston is very good. However, I think Jerome Tang is one of the best coaches in college basketball. Um, I know K-State's got a short bench right now, and I know K-State is not a top-five team um, by any stretch. This feels like an upset, though, to me. Like, K-State's going to win one of these games this week. They're gonna either going to beat Iowa State or Houston. I don't know if they're going to go 2-0, but K-State's going to win one of these games. And I'm gonna, I'm, I feel pretty comfortable saying K-State's going to win this game in an upset pick. I'm going to pick K-State to win – uh, 61 to 60. And my hot take is, uh, our guy, Tyler Perry, game winning shot, three point, three pointer, top of the key, step back, three point shot to win the game, 61 to 60. Um, he's going to do like the stare down at, at the camera after, um, and LJ Cryer is going to be crying after the game because they lost. That's my hot take. K-State's going to win this game, dude. What's your hot take? That's wild. Well, I don't think you realize this. <laughs> you said that they, they're going to win at least one of these games, and you predicted that they're going to win both. Yeah, um, absolutely. So I'm actually the one that's going with your original take of one and one and actually sticking with the one and one. Uh, it's hard to give a hot take when you believe that the K-State's going to lose. Um, I, I guess I never really even thought about this. Um, I'll just say this. I'll say that Kaluma is going to is going to be the shining star of this game. You think it's going to be t- well Tyler Perry could still make the game winner and Kaluma could still be the shining star. But uh I'll say that Kaluma is the one. 
He's going to finally have the confidence to start making these shots. He's going to look a lot better at getting the ball and just releasing it. I think this is the game. You know, what you did say about uh, about Iowa State um, and, and, and in the Iowa State game, K-State does manage to play to the level of their opponents. Yep. So um, I mean, we saw that with the Oklahoma State. Uh, we saw that with Baylor. We saw that with Villanova. You know, it could be the case that we just play to the level of whoever we're playing against, and we always make it a close freaking mm-hmm. game. So uh, and, unless you're UCF, then we actually just dominated them. But, uh, you know. They did. Case they did. K-State absolutely took a dump. I mean, we put in our, like, entire <laughs> – we put in our entire, like, second oh. team, and KU couldn't even get it done. That's hilarious. All right. Yeah. So that makes me really happy. I'm like, man, what did they do wrong over there? Maybe KU right. isn't the hottest thing on uh, right. in the Big 12 this year. Maybe, maybe K-State actually has a chance. Next game on our schedule here. Big game. Big. Monster game. Uh, they, they might be more rowdy for this game than they are against K State. I would say could go two and zero this week against uh, two teams from Kansas. We'll see. They have KU at home on Saturday. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna say, it. I would say it's gonna win. 70, Iowa State. I can't vote. 79, for 74. 79, 74. 79, 74. I think KU's struggling right now. Uh, they're still a very, very good team. I think I would say it's going to win this game. I've predicted KU to win too many times for my liking, all right? It's time yeah. to go against them. Iowa State, let's get it done. You're not going to win against us. You're going to win against KU. You're going to be pissed that you lost against us, but you'll be way more – you'll you'll forget about it after the win against KU. So let's get it done. I'm going to go – I'm gonna again. I'm. They're gonna hold KU. I'm. I'm thinking they're gonna hold KU to like 55 points. So what's your score? KU's gonna have 55. I'll say Iowa State has 60. Okay, so we both have have a a five point win for Iowa State. I like it. I like it. Texas Tech at Oklahoma. A pair of top 25 teams back to back here. Uh, Oklahoma's at home. I think Texas Tech is pretty good. I think Oklahoma's going to win this game, though. I'm taking uh, Texas Tech. I'm going to take Oklahoma 74-69. I'm taking Texas Tech. Uh, we're, we'll go we'll go 59-58. 59-58? I like it. Texas, uh, they just won at home this past Saturday against Baylor. Um, last buzzer against beater. Ball. What a crazy. Buzzer beater. That's a big Crazy 12, shot. That's a big 12, bro. BYU at home against Texas. BYU is ranked. <sighs> Pains me to say this. I- I've not been high on BYU like all year. One of their wins is against Iowa State where they shot like 15 threes or they made 15 threes. It's not going to happen this game. I think Texas is going to find a way to win at BYU. It's going to be like 74-68. I'm actually excited because we didn't even get to play BYU in football. Uh, but we get to play them twice in basketball. So oh, we do. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think they're. The, I'm pretty sure they're the team that we play twice. Um, at least that's what I thought. BYU, we play twice. I know that. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, I thought you said Texas. No, I said we we didn't get to play BYU in in football. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. This year, and they were actually happy about that. Right. <laughs> they probably were. They probably were really happy. They were really happy we didn't play them in 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 uh, football, yeah. but. We get to play them twice this year in basketball. So, um, I don't know. I think I think BYU is having, I would say, those early game, early season jitters. I think that they can uh, live up to their level. It's a home court advantage. We know how strong home court advantage is in this conference. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm going to go ahead and disagree again. We go BYU. I'm gonna go ahead and say BYU is gonna be making. Uh, we'll go 74 Texas. We'll go 68. I want to say that Kenny has got like a two or three game lead on me on overall basketball pick so far. So, a pair of very bad teams here: West Virginia at Oklahoma State. Uh, it feels like a game you just got to pick the home team and, and a pair of bad teams. So I'm going to pick Oklahoma State to win like. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Um, 69 to 
61. It's hard because West Virginia took out uh, KU. <laughs> yeah, they, they are too high on themselves after that. And Oklahoma State's not as bad as their record. Like they're, they're not a good team, but they've lost a ton of close games. They lost an overtime to Baylor at home. They lost to us by four. Uh, they could have easily won both of those games. So um, you're thinking that uh, that the that the O and O and O and five, right? Yeah, they should be at least two and three, at least. The O and five is a fluke, huh? I mean, the, the, okay, it could go either way here. So when you lose that many games, it could be a situation where you're like your confidence is on the floor. Mm-hmm. And then you've got West Virginia, who is like, you know, maybe coming, you know, getting the hangover of a huge win. Coming back down to earth. So it, it, this might be, I would arguably say, maybe the worst. Now, it could be the case where Oklahoma State is like really hungry and they're just like desperate for a win. But it's all a matter about how these guys respond mm-hmm. in this. In, like you start out 0-5 not a very good start. This is kind of how Oklahoma State (laughs) football started really bad, and then they, like, turned it on. Yeah, they they lost to South Alabama by, like, three touchdowns or something, and then they turned turned it on. They turned it on. Nine or ten games or whatever. Crazy. So, um, you know what? For that, I will say Oklahoma State, they're going to find a way. They're going to get it done. I agree with you. Uh, I'll even take your score. I'll I'll just copy paste. Copy paste. Your score. Command C, Command V. That's a Matt guy. Uh, <laughs> a pair of like private schools here. Baylor against TCU. Baylor is number fifteen in the country. TCU uh, won some big games. I think they just lost pretty badly though on Saturday. I can't remember the score. Um, another one of these games where I feel like the home team is probably just going to win this game. Um, I'm going to say it's going to be like high scoring 74 to 71 Baylor wins. Um, I'll say, I'll say it's a little bit higher than that, but I still think Baylor is going to walk away with the victory. I think it's going to be, we'll say 80 to 72, 80 to 72. Eight point win. I like it. Last game. Of this weekend's games, UCF at Cincinnati. I think we're both going to pick Cincinnati to win this game. But UCF could be sneaky, man. They won at Texas. They won at home against KU. It could be a good game. I think Cincinnati's better. I think Cincinnati's a pretty pretty, pretty good team. I I would say they're right around K-State. Not as athletic as K-State, though, because I did watch them play at KU last night. Uh, They're not as athletic. They are kind of long. But I'm going to pick them to win – 69 to 59. 69 to 59. Mm-hmm. Cincinnati? Cincinnati. Mm. Yeah, I could see that. Actually, that I would maybe maybe UCF might even score a little bit less than that. Like 69, like 56. Okay. We'll just we'll have to see. That's our uh, Big Twelve picks for this weekend. Oh wait, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to uh, adjust my score after some recent knowledge. Oh, let me hear it. I think UCF is gonna win. Oh, yeah. Which, wh- 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 why is that? Because I just looked at the score against West Virginia and they scored 72 points against West Virginia's 59. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I think I think what I think what uh UCF is gonna beat Cincinnati 70 to, or yeah. uh 65 to, to 60. 